Okay, so this is actually the model that I am going to draw right now. This is the finished model. So, um, but I'll just before I, I rebuild this model uh, before you, I want to, to tell you what this is so you understand a bit what we are going to do uh, before going into the, 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 the creation of the model. So here you have a PZT uh, layer, which is actually PMT3 uh, material and PMT3, well, you have all the characters to get the material. So this is the piezoelectric material, which will vibrate and generate a wave. This is water all around my transducer. And here, uh, this transducer is composed of three layers, you can say. So there is the PZT, there is uh, some kind of backing, and there is some uh, hard, I guess, epoxy kind of material here. Um, here I have two electrodes, one uh, on the top and one on the bottom. The top electrode will drive a voltage, which will be, um, which will have this kind of time profile, Ricoh wavelet. So I'm driving this with according with this voltage, and I'm doing a simulation to see what kind of acoustic pressure this generates into the water on the top. Okay, so now that I explained briefly what I am going to do, let's start from zero. So let's create a new project. And in this window, you, yours might be slightly different because uh, I have a beta version right now, but uh, it's more or so less the same. So for the type analysis, we'll do a mechanical dynamic analysis. Uh, make sure you use dynamic. Uh, and we'll construct a 2D axis symmetric model in Y axis. The cut scale factor will be one. The unit used for the geometry will be millimeter. And and that's it. Click on OK. Oh, maybe I'll put the name to the transducer uh, model. OK. And just click on OK to generate your new project. So I'm ready to, to build my new model. So before I build the geometry, let's add um, the required materials to my project. So for that, go into the project material database. And uh, the first material I'm going to add is the fluid water at 25 degrees Celsius. Then go into um, epoxy. And there are two materials I want to add here. One is the back 20, which will be for the backing. And the other will be the hard, which will be this one. And the last thing to do, um, okay, yeah, and now the piezoelectric material. So PMT3, this is the one I want. Okay, now the last thing is uh, this PMT3 material, I'm going to open its uh, material properties here, and especially the piezoelectric one, and I'm I will change the direction of polling. So this is very important, actually. So remember... Always do that. If you don't, this will uh, give you strange results because you want the PZT to be pulled in the Y direction because we are, uh, this is the main axis for the, the axis symmetry. And we are done with the material assignment. Next step, uh, let's create the geometry for this model. So we have a set of uh, primitive shapes that can be used to, to generate my basic geometry. And those are interesting because they can be parametrized if needed. So for the moment, I won't parameterize that, but I'll show you how to create them all. So let's first generate a cube, but well, not really a cube, but a cylinder of water, you can say. But it looks like a rectangle, right? But always remember this is rotated around the y-axis. Okay, so and now to define dimensions in this property window, uh, you just have to define what are dimensions. So this will be 15 millimeter uh, in x direction and 15 millimeter in y direction. And let's right click, reset the view. Right, okay, so now we get um, the first component of the model. Now to generate the next, so I could do the same, just click on rectangle, but another way is to duplicate the selection here. So I'm get, getting a second rectangle on the top of this one. And this one will be, um, will be a back 20. So this will be the backing. And the only thing I have to do is to change uh, the 
values of this model. So this will be the end x will be 10, not 15. And here, um, 5. So this is the, the dimensions of the backing. OK. Let's add uh, my piezoelectric, uh, my piezoelectric disk right now. Duplicate the selection. PMT3, this is my piezoelectric material. Uh, let's go into here. So now I'm starting at 5 for the y direction, and I'm ending up at 7, so 2 millimeter in the thickness of my disk. All right. And finally, the last is, let's duplicate that. Last one will be um, the hard epoxy material for, um, I guess it's some kind of top cover, right? Hard. And dimension will be 7 and 7.634. Okay, got it. Okay, now the geometry uh, is built. Let's go to the next step, which is the creation of the boundary conditions and the setting up of the analysis.